Rene Miot from the Netherlands. Okay. Okay. Good. You know, it's it's interesting. The third time doing a movie together, and so I think also in a professional way, that's growing the relationship between the two of you. I think. Mm -hmm. Does it work that way? Is it does it turn out to be a friendship, or is it like colleagues? Or how do you call it? I mean. Yeah, Chris and I are great friends, and uh, we've been great friends from the beginning. And uh, so our, our friendship transcends these movies and um, sustains through the time between them, for sure. Uh, as is the case with all of the cast, actually. We're, we're truly um, and, and wonderfully connected, and we love each other, and it feels very familial, um, our, our, our relationships. And it's, in a way, um, amazing that everybody's there again, that everybody is available. Or is that sort of in the contract that you have to do <laughs> this and the next one and the next one and the next one? Oh, yeah, that's contractual. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah? Yeah, of course it is. But, I mean, it doesn't take away from the fact that we really do enjoy when, the, when the, you know, the manager of the baseball team calls you up. It's like, you know, you're ready to play. and. Like the people that you're playing with, I have no idea where that metaphor is. Great, yeah. it's your, came from your team. But but and how do you go in if if you if you have to go in again? I mean, is that different from the first time? If you look at it now, yeah, of course it's just you know it's like anybody you know. It's like relationships change over over time and uh, uh, they deepen. And um, what's nice about it is that with the deepening comes a lot of ease, and with the ease comes I think a, a real. Um, ease on the screen, which is it's just nice to see, and you don't have to force or fake it. Did, do, you, do you agree that the, this is funnier in a way, this, this movie, that it's lighter in to, to a certain I think degree? there's a lot of humor in this film in particular. Having Simon as one of the writers, he's hilarious, and I think he brings his heart and his humor to everything he does. Um, humor's a cornerstone, I think, of the franchise and part of what's allowed it to endure for 50 years. Um, you know, the... the oddities of these characters and their interactions and the complications of how they communicate sometimes are uh, a great well of humor and uh, and and we've leaned into that I think partly an homage to the origins of the of the series hmm. do you have a, a career plan do you I, I, choices that you make you know you're in the Star, Star Trek f franchise but to go around it or just longevity I just hope to work you know just hope to have good work, good good challenges, and meet new exciting people, and grow as a human, as an actor, and um, just to be challenged and excited. I think is my, the biggest macro super objective. Because this this franchise has to fit in your career, right? In a way, so I mean, you, you have to deal with it that it has such an impact on a lot of people. Yeah, I think like uh, it depends on how you look at it. Some people could say it's. Uh, it's restrictive and other people could say it's liberating and I think we all choose to look at it as very liberating. It's something that allows us and affords us the opportunity to go do diverse work that's maybe smaller in scale or more independent in nature and uh, you know theater and other other outlets and uh, other explorations that we might not have the opportunity to do with not uh, the, fr the foundation of a franchise like this. Mm, great. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks Thank man. Thank you very much.